Hey, you guys. So this is going to be just a super quick tutorial on how you can create a video for any of your products on Etsy. So if you are familiar with Etsy at all, you will notice that when they are promoting something, you definitely should be trying to use it because um, if they're promoting it and you use it, you're going to be popped up in those algorithms more so than you would be if you didn't. So right now they are really pushing for videos in your listings. And so I'm going to show you how you can do that. Even if you are just selling digital downloads and you don't actually have physical copies of what you do. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to share my screen on here. I had to do this workaround because uh, my other screen recorder was not happy about this. So you're going to go into Instagram stories and I actually already started one. So I'm going to pull this up. So this is the right size for Etsy is Instagram stories. And I'm actually going to work with this template. Um, if you want a different template, then you're just going to hit plus hit templates and there's going to be all kinds of options, but I'm just going to work with this simple template. And if you've watched my other tutorials, you know that you first of all would ungroup these because they were grouped together, the frame and the picture were. So we ungrouped those and this is so simple. So first of all, I'm going to change the background color because um, that doesn't really work. Uh, you can pick from the pictures, they will give you options of backgrounds that you could use, or you can go with your brand kit, whatever works for you, whatever you wanna do. I will just go with this since it's a little lighter. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click an item, something, and you're gonna go down here to the bottom, or if you're on the desktop, you're gonna go to the top and you're gonna click that animate button. Now you'll see that you have all kinds of options here for animation. So let's go with tumble. So you see how that just kind of slides in. I am going to do the, uh, let's see on the bottom one, I'm going to do a drift in. Okay. So I've animated both of those, uh, objects, right? Now we're going to animate the pictures and you can do basically whatever you want. You can do that. So you, you can play around with it and see what it looks like, what you like, what you don't like. Um, you can cause them both to tumble in, a tumble and a drift. I mean, it's, you know, kind of limitless. And then on this bottom one, you're going to also choose. Okay, so I've animated both sets of those. So that's a start. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some text. So we're gonna hit that plus sign. And we're gonna go over here to text and we're going to add a heading and we're gonna put some sort of lingo in here that would apply to our design. So let's say that um, you're selling a digital download for um, an exercise planner, right? So um, we're gonna write, Plan your second action. Plan your movement. I like that better. Move helps if you spell it correctly. Plan your movement. Okay. And then I'm going to go down here and select a font that I like a little bit better. Um, let's go with this one. And then we're going to go with the font size so that it fits right there. And now, just like on the other, we're going to animate this. And you can do whatever you want. You can do the typewriter. Let's see how that's creating that movement. So you're creating a video simply by animating each element of your slide here. So now I'm going to copy those um, words and I'm going to slide them down here. And I would probably change the words here to say something different. And you can even change the animation. So I just skipped the animation. Um, okay, it's already on typewriter. So um, I can do this. Um, sure, oh, it's trying to, there's the typewriter. Nope. 
Well, that messed up. Animate, there we go, typewriter. Okay, and I like the typing for both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna animate this one as well and make it, it thinks that I have the picture selected. So try that again. Sometimes you have to play around with it. It can be a little bit glitchy. Um, here it is. All right, it still thinks that I have got something else going on here. So I'm gonna move it off the picture and see if I can get it. It's just being difficult. So anyway, you're going to um, animate it. I don't know why the app is being so glitchy right now. There it goes. I had to get it away from the picture. So now that's done and now I can slide it up here. So now I've created motion. Here's the other th cool thing. Now on Etsy, there is no sound, but on other apps there are. And so what you can do is you can actually add music to this. So um, I don't even know what any of these are. Um, let's see what this sounds like. So we can just add that too. And what will happen is if you're putting this, like maybe you're putting on an Instagram story as well as in your Etsy app, in the Etsy app or in the Etsy listing, it's not gonna play that music, but it will play it um, on an Instagram story or something like that. So that's a fun little thing that you can do. I'm gonna take that out of there for now. You can also add other elements to this. So if you want to add, um, let's see, since we're talking exercise, um, let's see if there's anything cute that moves. <laughs> sometimes there are, sometimes there's not. Um, not seeing anything with movement. Okay, here we go. So this also has movement on it and you can actually animate this as well if you want to, but play around with it, whatever you wanna do, whatever fits with your style and your look. But once you've got it all put together the way you want it, you're going to save as, you're gonna save it as an MP4 video, okay? And then you're gonna go over into your Etsy shop and I think you have to do this on the desktop version of Etsy, but once you get there, then you will be able to upload that to your uh, video and you'll have a video as part of your listing and it's gonna boost you in those algorithms. So just a little bit of information to help you out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below.